Seashore Construction is here to help you weather the storm this winter. You shouldn't have to spend time worrying about wind and water damage. Contact Seashore today to replace or repair your roof, siding, or windows. Visit seashoreconstruction.net. Well, thanks for hanging around with me. Time's 9 o'clock and temperatures have already warmed up into the upper 40s for most of us, between 47 in Media and 49 in Cape May, everywhere else sitting still in those upper 40s in that range. Now, for today, we are going to see plenty of sunshine, not any of those clouds that we saw yesterday. All sunshine today. A few clouds along the shore as those clouds are pushing off over the Atlantic. But get outside and enjoy the day today. Seasonable temperatures as well. We're also going to see plenty of sunshine throughout much of this week. Now clouds will build in and we will see the opportunity for some showers on Wednesday. But it's not going to rain all day and we will see some breaks in the clouds. But just get outside and enjoy the week because lots of sunshine for every other day other than Wednesday. And today... Plenty of sunshine, temperatures making it into the mid-60s. I know it says 61 right here, but I believe that we will top out right around 63 to 64 degrees for this afternoon. Not a cloud in the sky. Get outside and enjoy the day. But with the sunshine and the warmer temperatures, we're also going to see high pollen levels. I believe on Wednesday, when that rain moves through, the pollen could be lower just a little bit. But keep in mind, it's not going to rain all day. So we could still see some high pollen levels on Wednesday as well. But definitely today and tomorrow with the amount of sunshine and warmer temperatures that we will see, pollen levels will definitely stay high. But you notice some clouds right along the shore, but everywhere else we are mostly clear. A little cold front up to the north reinforcing a northwest breeze. So that will limit our temperatures. But with the amount of sunshine we will see, that will allow us to heat up into the mid-60s. But clear for today, clear into tomorrow. I believe some more clouds will start to build in than what this model is showing for tomorrow afternoon. But rain won't move in until we head into Wednesday. Here's that system just off to the west. It's going to start to push into the area as we head into about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning on your Wednesday. And then some showers will continue to move through throughout the morning. But the bulk of the activity that you will be out by late morning, then we will just be dealing with some clouds and a few isolated showers on the back side of that front as we head throughout the afternoon, then that will clear completely out as we head into your Thursday. So 40% chance of rain for your Wednesday, dry for the end of the work week, then another system will start to work in as we head towards the weekend. We bump up rain chances to 30% on Saturday. I believe we will get a break in the action on Sunday before some more showers will return heading into Monday. So that 10% chance of rain for now might need to get bumped up a little bit higher. But temperatures will also start to warm up as we head towards the end of the weekend and into next week. I believe we're going to see temperatures well above average in the mid to upper 70s. But lots of sunshine throughout this week. 68 for tomorrow, 70 for your Wednesday with those showers. Cold front will cool us back off down into the 50s. Then we are looking forward to the 70s by the end of the weekend and into next week. I'll be back with one more update around lunchtime. Then Brittany will be in this afternoon. Enjoy your Monday.